What's up y'all? This is Daniel Carter at Afro Herp Keeper here. Today we have something very exciting for y'all. I have driven all the way up to Plano, Texas to visit the one and only Dallas Fort Worth Reptarium. If you live in North Texas, this is pretty much your one-stop shop for anything reptile and amphibian related. Um, I've never been but we have a couple exciting things that we're planning to do today. We are going to meet some very cool critters in there, see what they have to offer. And as you may be able to see in my back seat, we have a very large project that we're gonna be working on. If you watch my channel, you've probably already seen what we're gonna do with this today. But if you haven't, I'll put a link down in the description just for you. I'm pretty excited to go meet some critters. So uh, without any further ado, let's head inside. The planet we live on is infested with life creeping, crawling, slithering life. Once upon a time, everything we did revolved around the natural world. But now, there are billions of us, and we as a species have never strayed further from our roots. Even so, some of us continue to slip through the cracks. I'm not scared of any animal, no matter the number of teeth, claws, or legs. My only directive is to reconnect you with the wild, to defend the creatures that need it most, and to do my part to preserve the biodiversity of our remarkable world. My name is Daniel Carter, and you're watching Afro Herp Keeper. typically much more sassy than their western counterparts. <laughs> he is very sassy. <laughs> He seems pretty good today. I don't have food. He wants me to have food. Yeah. They have very cute tongues. So this is an Abronia mixteca. Can you tell me any cool facts about Abronia mixteca? One of the arboreal alligator lizards. Yes, and this guy... Is he from Mexico? Yeah, they're a Mexican species. And this guy in particular, they have some really different variants in their color pattern. So he's much more solid and stripy, while his girlfriend, if we can find her, she is spotted. Ferocious cricket hunters. 
He looks like a goober. <laughs> Cute and very dangerous. Yes, you're terrifying. It's a bull whip of a tail. Hi. Can I do this? Yeah, it's stay near her back. <laughs> what if I touch her on top of my head? I mean, it would be a great video of, I have to go to the hospital immediately. Okay, so this is Whisper. She is a crocodile monitor, correct? Mm-hmm. I don't know why I said correct, I know that. <laughs> She's probably one of the older ones in captivity. She's, you know, 16 or 17 years yeah, old. Impressive, she does not look that old. Mm -hmm. So this is this is the adult size of a female? Or She's she a small, small female. <laughs> gotcha. She's a small female. Um, she produced uh, right. several clutches, um, some of the first ones in captivity. A sniff? I know what their teeth look like. I, I, I know I don't want to bite. Do you tell them about Alex's bite? No. She has caused some... Uh, Bodily harm. Yes. Mm -hmm. When we got her, she was, what, 25 pounds? Oh, she seems like Incredib a huge giant. Incredibly overweight. She's about hmm. 8 pounds right now on a diet and exercise plan. Lizard Weight Watchers. Her feet are kind of splayed. Before we got her, she was kept on almost exclusively concrete and hard surfaces, which has caused these, the flattening of her feet. Yeah, she's on, on deep topsoil and moss now, um, but there's only so much that can be done for that. Hey, pretty. Hey, sweetie. No, you don't need to get in my lap. We're not gonna. You need to get in her lap. So we are now inside the Dallas Fort Worth Reptarium. This store blows every other reptile store I've been to out of the water. Now there's not much competition in that field because I've only been to like, what, two or three, four reptile specific stores. So I'm here with Whisper and also Cheyenne Smith. Cheyenne works here. Um, she is one of the moderators on my Discord server, which you can find linked in the description of any of my videos. So I'm here with Cheyenne and Whisper, and uh, essentially all we're gonna do in this video is show you guys some radical animals uh, from across the Dallas-Fort Worth Reptarium. What do you think? There you go, sweetie. She's a cutie. Um, if you go on Google Images and you look up crocodile monitor skull, you can see exactly why I do not want this girl getting mad at me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's just gonna back away. She's gonna back away. She's not crazy about what's going on right here, but man, that is a remarkable animal. Unbelievably, I've never gotten the chance to pet a crocodile monitor before. Do you want us to feed her? I could go for that. She makes a mess sometimes. Oh, nice. Some food. Oh, well, well. Lizards are smart, but they're not that smart. This could be the thumbnail. Very nice job. She's not very good at anything. <laughs> but she has enthusiasm. She does. She tries her best, and that's what matters. And who do we have up next? Let's do Lilith, the Emperor Scorpion. So this is Lilith. She is a true Emperor Scorpion. This is a very large African species of scorpion. These claws are, are they're like nothing else. So those little hairs all over her claws, are those sensitive to touch? Yes. Is that a feeding uh -huh. strategy? So they, they use their uh, pedipalps to take down prey, to dig, uh, and it also helps them feel what's in front of them as well. Very That's cool. where those hairs come in. How'd she get the name Lilith? Because I wanted to name her Baby Eater, but apparently that's not appropriate. Uh, I see, I see. How old is Lilith here? Oh, she's probably three years old now. Very nice. Check out the stinger on that thing. And you can see, I mean, scorpions are very capable of pinching and stinging, but this is a docile animal. It's not going to fight back unless you pick a fight with it in the first place. Now that is a nice scorpion. Mm -hmm. It's lizard time once again. This is, what's his name? Cadet. Cadet. 
and he is an adult male Australian frilled dragon. He's a little rough looking. He is yeah. a rescue. Yeah, of course. So he was kept with a bunch of other lizards, um, almost no supplementation, and way too hot. So he has a nice hole in his frill, Aww. and he does have some MBD. Poor guy. But we have had him for a while now. Yeah, he's living a good life here. The best he can. He's Absolutely. doing his his tiny best. Please move your tiny mitt hand. This hand, both my legs, What a baby. Oh my god, they are so soft. Let's bring him back. This is the largest species of gecko in the world, correct? Heaviest, yes. at least? Yes, The I believe the longest recorded one is about 14 inches. Look at this little sock puppet. Now that is a cute animal. And this is she's one of weighty. Our adult breeding females. So she's on um, breeding weight, is what we'll call her. Not just chubby. Those toes are pretty remarkable. She jumps, it'd be pretty funny. Oh, what a critter. Just a few days old. That's adorable. So we have uh, our uh, mother here who's not, not, not too thrilled about this and child. Beautiful. Please don't eat your child. Yeah, you can't eat your child. Yeah, it's, it's frowned upon. Gah. So it's put me back. Part of the natural wild diet of Lichianus geckos is smaller New Caledonian geckos, such yeah. as Cresties. Yeah. Cresties and oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Okay, can you get her? <laughs> she did this last time, too. Good girl. Oh, I'm sad now. Oh. Gah. <laughs> says, Here. please put me back. Oh, that's not so bad. <laughs> she is the one on your, on that side, on the right side. Thank you. Nine and a half. But also, yeah, she pooped everywhere, so I put her back before she poops on you. Don't also bite you. So this girl is a bull snake, correct? Yes, or she. Is she a gopher? She's a hypo bull snake. Hypo bull. Beautiful. Oh, man. She's got some muscles on her. Does she have a name? No. <laughs> Sadly, no. <laughs> we have so many animals, I think names get lost in the process. Yeah, um, no, I feel that. Yeah, but she's... She is absolutely gorgeous. Major wiggler. I love how the, uh, man, when I have my, my hog island boa out at shows, people say it looks like two different snakes, and this, this looks like maybe three or more different snakes. I love all of the intricacies of her pattern. Investigating. What are you getting in the shot? Her face. It's hard she'll ever see regularly. Just you're never going to see an indigo. Mm. It's actually a lot of them live at the DFW airport, just like every other native species. Nice. No one can mess with them there. They just have to put up flames. Which the rabbit seems like surprisingly long. Otherwise, I would, yeah. but I have no proof of it. Or like a time period anymore, yeah. Um, uh, I'm trying to think if I can remember anyone who's done recently. Maybe they're trying to leave. Yeah. You gonna She's bite gonna me? Clamp down on you. <laughs> and, well, Trey got her on his head the other day, so the, the female's okay. The male like she's adorable, but she, I see the the murder in her eyes. That's the thing. Hi, sweetie. If you say, no bite. Hey, Oh, her pupils dilate. <laughs> Stinker. Target acquired. Yeah. <laughs>